Right, what I'm going to show you guys in this video is a very, very cool way of showing you exactly what happens when you wire two subwoofers out of phase with each other. And by that, I mean one sub subwoofer plus in the plus and negative in the negative, and the other one the other way around. Right? Basically, what happens is whilst one subwoofer moves out, the other one will move in. Right? And that sort of effect of doing that in the same box or in separate boxes. Um, gives the effect of completely cancelling out all the bass made and I'll show you what I mean. This is a 50 hertz uh, sine wave so it's double mono I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. As you can hear getting bass tone there and this is just the Technics uh, dual 8 so the two L ported. So I've got some bass and now let's turn the 6 inch JBL in the other L ported up which is out of phase with the other one. Ready? Completely cancels out the bass. Let me just kill the Rotel because it's making a strange noise. Right, it's completely cancelled all the bass out. There's no sound at all. Yet I've got one more subwoofer working. So there's now three subwoofers working, but they're out of phase with each other. Turn it off again, and I get a bass tone. Same thing happens if I make it silent and turn off the Technics, I get bass again from the JBL. So silence because the two waves are cancelling each other out, bass because the, the uh, there's only one wave being there. Um, now you can do the same effect, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here, let me zoom in lots so you can actually see each wave. Right, so here you can see the waves, once one goes up, the other goes up, down, down, up, up, down, down. If I take this bottom one, just the bottom one, so this second one, uh, try and just just simply select that one rather than selecting the top one as well. So if I select just the bottom one, invert it, and you'll now see that the waves instead, whilst one goes up, the other goes down, and whilst the other one goes down, the other one comes up. Right now, listen to what happens when I hit play absolutely no sound whatsoever and that's because the two waves completely cancel each other out because as one gets louder the other gets exactly the same amount quieter again so there's no sound produced whatsoever and that's the exact same effect as this one wave add the second out of phase wave and you get silence pretty much the only reason it's not complete silent is just because of impurities in the uh, subwoofer mechanical noises and echoes around the room that's pretty much silent compared to that. And um, so that's what happens when you wire your subs out of phase. So just make sure if you wind up systems, keep everything in the exact same phase with each other. Otherwise you do get heavy cancellation as shown.